finish the book. When it's gone through the editing process, it oh. comes a moment when it is committed to the printing press. Oh. How difficult is it to determine that moment? Very difficult, because you know, writing is a matter of choice. All the hundreds and thousands of choices you make when you write a book, whether it's choosing a character or a title or a, or a scene or a word or a sentence, whatever, or a new paragraph. So it's all about choices. And that also determines the moment when you have to let go. Because that stage, that shape, the particular shape the project then has, the novel, that is but one possible shape. It's where you brought it. You could take it in any other direction. But you have to say, no, this is cut off time. I'm finishing it. I'm separating. And separation anxiety will be there, but that's it. So it's, it's a choice you have to make. And, and, and well realizing that this is far from perfect. It will never be perfect. And it could also exist in so many other forms, this particular tale you could have written in so many other voices, forms, but you choose, you know, this is the one that you chose, that's the one you, 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 go, you trust your editor. It's important that your editor understands your voice and it's also important for you not ever to be a prima donna. So you have to absolutely listen. I love sending my manuscript to people I trust. And I always do that. I, I always have a little selection of people. It goes to them and I listen to absolutely everything they say. I don't always use it. I discard a lot of it, but I listen very carefully. And it's also because I'm in the field as an academic. I find it interesting. Why does this reader say, you know, this choice of narrator doesn't work? This, this is opportunistic, don't do this, you know. And, and it's to me also then an intellectual exercise. And there the editor is a guiding, a guiding force, which is very important. Another important task of, of an editor is within a world of publishing, which has become very commercialized, is to, to nurture the writer in that time-honored old space of, of being an artist and being someone who works with the products of the mind and someone who's in thought, deep in thought, iemand wat in gedachte is and how to package this person, you know, as, as a product, which is an awful thing. And that is, that is a very sensitive thing that editors now work with as well, as publishing has changed uh, a lot. So you're looking for a well-rounded intelligent person who can coordinate the whole difficult process of, of um, yeah, My coming out. My greatest fear as a writer is, is not the empty page because I, I, I won't say I write easily, but I write. It's, it's, I don't often stare at the page and if, if it's necessary to stare at the page, I walk away from it and I go and do something else. The greatest fear, I think, in the last analysis is, is the fear, and I'm afraid it's going to come, come true. It's going to realize itself. And that's that I will never write that perfect novel 